I've got a confession to make. You see, as much as I love surrounding myself with greenery, my houseplants usually end up looking a bit like this, or unfortunately even like this. Not exactly the vibrant, thriving oasis I had in mind. The problem is that I just can't remember watering plants for the life of me, so I thought, why not put my technical skills to good use for once and build a system that reminds me of that. I fired up Fusion 360 and got to work constructing a planter for the bad boy you just saw in the video that is in desperate need of a bigger pot. For the look I took inspiration from Hendrix Design who came across my For You page on TikTok a couple of times and who makes absolutely gorgeous planters. I'll try to link them in the video description if I remember. Here you can see me designing a cylindrical base for the planter that will later house all the necessary electronics. I will of course make all the project files available for free. Just check the video description below. I loaded the base into Cura and sent it to my Elegune Neptune 3 Pro for printing, so I could start the assembly process. Now that that's done, it's time to get the necessary parts for the plant. The main part is an ESP32. Then we need a capacitive moisture sensor to figure out when we need to water our plant, a PIR motion sensor to detect movement because I don't want the planter to make noise in the middle of the night or when nobody's around, a DF player mini together with a micro SD card for the audio files and a small laptop speaker, and of course the base we just printed. I just snapped everything into existence because I didn't want anyone making fun of my soldering. I am very sensitive. Now it's time to start writing MicroPython code using the worst IDE known to man, Thorny. I'll spare you the details, but the code works by continuously checking if the moisture sensor detects a value beneath a certain threshold and if the motion sensor detects movement. If both of these statements are true, a sound is played to inform the user that his plant needs to be watered. After that, a cooldown period is started before checking the values again. I know it's not the prettiest code in the world, but it will do for a first prototype. I thought it would be a fun idea to ask my closest friends if they would send me a voice recording of them pretending to be a plant that desperately needs to be watered. After I received a couple of these gems, the only thing left to do was printing the pot itself. Hey, you have a thirst! Excuse me, my little hunts creepy to a And with that, the project is complete. It's been a lot of fun and will hopefully keep my plant alive in the future. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.